odor of discernment. Only a seeker mean, crazy, or otherwise evil enough to be wearing the sealer's sash is in any shape to even think of attempting to obtain the torch of truth. This is one of the few objects known to light the dark, inner corridors of the mind. It will never go out, no matter what it is doused or smothered with, for its flame was never meant to be used except by those who would use it well. They weren't kidding when they told us we were made in their image. The first speck of light gave birth to us all, they used this torch to learn how to do good and evil. Not a single one of them ever endured an ordeal worthy of their existence without having to use this torch. The torch's flame continues to grow brighter at the rate it was growing when it was first imagined. This was done on purpose. Imagine the sun and now make it a trillion times brighter. It continues to brighten at that speed, every instant, and it is lost to time how long ago that was. If you tried to look at it with your eyes, the flame would be so bright that it is invisible, but your mind would see it from within as such a bright flame that you would go blind if you weren't physically prepared for it. Check behind you to make sure you're not on fire. Now. If you haven't burned yourself to a crisp from within, head out to the desert. You will not have to go far. If you are wearing the sealer's sash, it will begin to glow brightly. Allow the sash's light to extend into infinity and rejoin with the light. Once this is done, you will see a ripple in the space-time fabric in front of you. Proceed through it. The sky around you will be red, with fierce, black and grey clouds. Before you have a chance to take a look around, you will be face to face with a woman with glowing eyes, surrounded by many creatures. Some you will recognize, and some you will not. If you look too long at any of these creatures, you will become one of them. You must maintain eye contact with the woman while you ask her, the instant you see her. How could they tell? Her eyes will widen and she will be unable to stop herself as she uses her razor-sharp tongue to cleave it deep. Thin cut right at the line between good and evil. If your ears do not catch fire and burn away while she speaks her tale, she will be impressed against her will and hand you a black crystal box. Everything will flash white for several seconds. Keep calm while this is happening. Everything will reappear shortly. You won't know where you are when you appear. It may or may not be a safe area. The only common occurrence is that it will be dark. The speck of light that you are, floating above the torch handle, is object 456 of 538. It will shine on the darkness of falsehood.